Addressing the nationwide issue of daycare and child care shortages. Groups in Adams County, they now have joined forces to help working families to get the care that they need. KHQA Hayden Zollinson, you spoke with officials about what can be done to bring the shortage to an end locally. Hayden. Nationwide and here in Adams County, parents are struggling to find adequate child care for their children. According to a study done by the Great River Economic Development Foundation, available openings at daycare centers have decreased 14% since 2018. Great River Economic Development Foundation President Kyle Moore says the effect of the shortage is felt across the spectrum. It's not just that we need new centers, it's that we need more slots available for child care, more children to actually be able to receive it. And that's why Gretif, along with other organizations such as the West Central Child Care Connection, Tracy Family Foundation, and many other funding agencies are coming together to address this shortage. We've joined a stakeholder group that um, is looking at one, how can we increase the number of workers in child care? Because we know for every worker, uh, more more children can get the, the uh, care that they need. Moore says they are looking to address the issue at the college level with the possibility of trying to increase enrollment by offering more opportunities for students at local colleges. Whether that means uh, extending apprenticeship uh, a, uh, opportunities, whether that means re perhaps reducing the cost of college debt for anybody who um, you know is is working in childcare, maybe it's a sign-on bonus. Um, we're just trying to do different things uh, that can really help um, you know ease the burden right now that our families are experiencing. The stakeholder group is also speaking with officials on the Adams County Board to see how they can address it as a county leadership issue. Moore says that the county currently has $300,000 in ARPA funds available from COVID-19 that could potentially be used. They also hope to help relieve some of the costs of food for child care centers in the area. We're able to provide grants to uh, over 80 child care uh, providers in Adams County, uh, which totaled about $50,000 because we know that every every little bit um, helps when you're talking about, um, you know, especially the smaller at home child care providers. The stakeholder group hopes to make a presentation for the plan with the ARPA funds later this summer and if approved could go into effect in the fall. Reporting for KHQA, I'm Hayden Donaldson.